and I'm here again everybody um, I'm here back again with a short tutorial on how to wire a start and stop it a start and stop button circuit for a contactor coil and not only how to wire it but how to include a holding circuit inside this inside the system um, what I basically did is I came in with my hot and my neutral it goes back to an outlet so you don't you don't have to worry about that now what you need to know is how to keep the coil energized after you release the start button because normally without the holding circuit when you press it in the coil will energize and when you take your hand off it the coil will pop back out it will de-energize now you need to know how to keep that coil en energized after you release the start button it's the start button um, so what you did what you do so you come in your live and your neutral here your neutral goes straight to your contactor and it goes to the A2 side. These contactors, is not, they, they normally have their marking on them. And your neutral goes straight to the A2. While you're live, it goes to your start button first. Comes out your start button. It goes to your start button here. It comes out of your start button. And it goes to your start. Now that's what you normally do. You come through your, your start button first, which is normally closed. And you go through your start button, which is normally open. Keep that in mind. Start button normally close. Start button normally open. You come out of your start button and you go to your contactor coil, which is A1. Always keep that in mind. Your A1 is your voltage, is your voltage, whatever, whatever voltage the, the, the coil requires, whether it's 110, whether it's 220, whatever voltage the coil desires, you always bring your hot wire to A1. Because that's where your live side of the voltage is going. Your A2 is zero volts at all times. So you keep that in mind, A2 is zero volts. That's where your neutral goes. As you come out of your coil for your hot wires, you come back and you come down to an auxiliary. You come down to a normally open auxiliary. So keep that in mind. That's how you, you know, this is where your holding circuit will be. Keep that in mind, a normally open auxiliary. So you come from your M coil, which is your contactor coil, down to your normally open auxiliary, which is normally on the bottom. The bottom here, the top is normally closed. You don't want that. If you if you wire it on the top, the contact is just gonna in and out, in and out. It's gonna it's gonna slam. It's gonna go blam 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 blam. It's not gonna work. So you always put it down to the normally open, and you bring it back out to the normally open here, and you go back to your stop button, and that completes the circuit. That that's how you do it. From your stop your stop button, you come out, go to your start. From your start to your contactor coil A1. From A1. To, to your normally closed auxiliary, normally open, sorry, normally open auxiliary, come out your normally open auxiliary, and you go back to your start button. That's a simple push button circuit, start and stop with the holding circuit in between. Now I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to start energizing the coil and de-energizing so you understand how this principle works. The green button is my start, the red is, the red is my start. And I'm pushing the green button, the coil is energized as you see, the contactor, the contactor coil is completely slammed in, it's completely energized, and as you as you see, it hasn't it has not popped out. And my my hand is not on the green button at all. It's off and it's still in. That's what this is for. This keeps the coil energized at all times after I release the start button. When I press the stop, it de-energizes. The stop button breaks breaks the circuit. It breaks the current flow. It breaks the continuity. That's what it basically do. So without the holding circuit, I don't need a stop button. It won't make much of a difference. Now, I'm going to do it again. The coil, the coil is energized and it stays in. It, does not, it, it, it doesn't pop up. And I push the red button now, it, come, it goes out. Now that's how you basically wire a push button circuit, start and stop with the holding circuit. It's keeping the contactor coil energized after I release the start, the start button. So keep that in mind. You're gonna need this in order for this system to work. You're gonna need an auxiliary, normally open auxiliary. In, out. Um.